Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to the Crochet Circle. In today's video, I want to show you how to make this cute little ladybug amigurumi. So this is really easy to make. It only uses basic crochet stitches. So it was single crochets, increases of single crochets and decreases in single crochets. Um, the pattern is super easy again because it just increases of six so rows are 6 12 18 and so on and so on and the creases are as well the multipliers of six um i chose perhaps not the best colors <laughs> to show you how it's done because the um the black one is a bit hard to see what kind of stitches I was doing but I am explaining everything on the way and I hope you will understand. Uh, there's also a written, pay, a written pattern on my homepage, you know, link, in down, link is down in the description below and also uh, the pattern will be described in the box below. So before I get started, I want to just invite you, if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions on the way, you can just ask. And one more last thing, um, down at the bottom somewhere there, there should be some timestamps just to show you how to make the base, how to make the dots and how to make the head and how to just assemble everything together. So let's go first over the pattern, how the ladybug is actually going to be made. So. It's gonna be a standard. It's gonna be an increase of six all the way until the right size. Now, the right size, you can adjust it again. I, you can always adjust most of the patterns that I do. So yeah, it's gonna be a circle. It's gonna be like half of a sphere. I'm gonna be embroidering and sewing on some black things. And also I will have to make some black dots. Now for the head, again, half a sphere in black. Um, most of the, the top part is going to be done with red cotton yarn. The bottom part is going to be done in black cotton yarn with a nice edge. And yeah, that's it. Um, all the patterns will be up here, here, somewhere around on the screen and hopefully you will be able to uh, follow along. To start with, I'm going to begin with the little dots. Now for the little dots uh, on the back of your ladybug, you can use either buttons, but I want to have the crocheted, so I'm going to be using some black yarn for that. I'm just gonna set aside the red one. Now, for now, I'm gonna be doing five of those um, small dots. Uh, how I'm gonna be doing that, I'm gonna start with the magic ring and then I'm just gonna be doing the increases of six again until the desired size. Now, magic ring, yarn twice around my thumb. I know it's a black and you cannot see it that well, but I want to have a proper ladybug. I've already done the chain one just to go, just to kind of grab it together. And now I have to do six single cro uh, single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I have to close the magic ring up. And this will be my first uh, dot. I'm gonna leave. <sighs> I'm gonna leave just a bit more of a tail because I'm gonna be then sewing it on the red base. I know it's black color. I'm gonna pull the yarn through. I'm gonna grab my needle, and I'm gonna join it invisibly with. Not the first stitch, but I'm going to skip the first stitch and go through the second one. So this is the first stitch. I'm going to go in through the second one because I'm going to be... I know it's black and you cannot see it and I'm 
Do I apologize? Well, I cannot do anything about it, but I hope you can see here's the first stitch. I'm gonna be overlapping the first stitch. I'm gonna go in to the second one, overlap the first one and then go back from where I started. Adjust it and that's gonna be it. So this is my first dot. Now I need five of them, so I'm gonna do five more, four more. So magic ring, going in, grabbing the yarn, doing a chain one. Now I'm pulling the magic ring off my finger. Now I have to do six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, closing up the magic ring, pulling it really tight, again leaving a bit of a tail because I'm gonna be sewing this on top of the, on the back of the ladybug. Not going into the first stitch, I'm going into the second stitch because I am overlapping the first stitch and I'm going back from where I came from, pulling it tight and this is dot number two done. Now the third one, again magic ring going in, grabbing the yarn and doing a chain one. Six single crochets now. One, two, three, four, five and six. Closing up the magic ring. leaving a bit of a tail, pulling the yarn through, grabbing my needle, doing the invisible join and because here I have black yarn you can actually not see the invisible join but in theory I'm skipping the first stitch, I'm going into the second stitch because I am overlapping the first one and then I'm going back to where I came from from the state stitch. Now that's three done. Just two more. Magic ring. Chain one. Six single crochets. One two, three, four, five and six, closing up the magic ring, pulling it tight, pulling the yarn through, not going into the first stitch, I'm gonna overlap the first stitch, I'm going into the second stitch and back from where I came from. So back to this stitch, nicely pulling it tight. So that's four, one more, magic ring, yarn twice around my thumb, I'm going in with my crochet hook and grabbing the working tail and doing a chain one. Now I'm just gonna adjust the magic ring to make it a bit smaller. Now I have to do six single crochets. So that's a one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. Pulling the magic ring tight together. Cutting the yarn. Pulling the yarn through again, grabbing my needle and making an invisible join. Not going into the first stitch, I'm going into the second stitch because I'm overlapping the first stitch and I'm going back to where I came from. And that's it. So that's my five dots done. Now let's start with the base of the back of the ladybug. Now for the main part of the ladybug. So now I'm gonna be using some red cotton yarn still with a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. I hope it's 3.5. Um, it's actually a three millimeter crochet hook. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a 3.5. I'm gonna again start with a magic ring. So yarn twice around my thumb. I'm going in with my crochet hook, grabbing the yarn, doing a chain one. Now, again, this is gonna be an increase of six. So it's gonna go six, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42. And depending on the size that you want, you can do more or less increases, more or less uh, rows of increases. Let me say it like that. So yeah, I have now my base done. Now I need six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and closing up the magic ring. Okay, now the next row calls for six increases. An increase is just two single crochets in the same stitch. At the end of row number two, I'm gonna have 12 stitches. So, no, this wasn't a nice stitch. I'm going to go back in. I don't want to split the yarn. So, so that's now one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. Row number two is done and I have 12 stitches. Now row number three going up from 12 to 18, one single crochet and one increase stitch. So one single crochet and two, three is an increase. Four is a single crochet, five, six is an increase. Seven is a single crochet, eight, nine is an increase, ten is a single crochet, eleven, twelve is an increase, thirteen is a single crochet, fourteen, fifteen is an increase, sixteen single crochet, seventeen, eighteen is an increase. Now to go from 18 to 24, I have to do a single crochet, an increase and another single crochet. So one is a single crochet, two, three is an increase, 
4 is a single crochet, 5 is a single crochet, 6, 7 is an increase, 8 is a single crochet, 9 is a single crochet, 10, 11 is an increase, 12 is a single crochet, 13, 14, 15 an increase, 16, single crochet, 17, 18, 19 is an increase, 20, 21, 22, 23 an increase, and 24. Now the next row and going from 24 to 30 is gonna be an increase and three single crochets. So one, two is an increase, three, four, five single crochets, six, seven is an increase, eight, nine, ten single crochets. 11, 12 is an increase, 13, 14, 15 single crochets, 16, 17 is an increase, 18, 19, 20 single crochets, 21, 22 is an increase, 23, 24 and 25 are single crochets, 26, 27 is an increase, 29, 28, 29 and 30 are single crochets. So now I have 30 stitches, as you can see I need just a little bit more, so I'm gonna go from 30 to 36. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do two single crochets, an increase, and another two single crochets. So one, two, three, four is an increase, five, six single crochets, seven, eight single crochets, nine, ten is an increase. 11, 12 single crochets, 13, 14 single crochets, 15, 16 is an increase, so two single crochets in one stitch, 17, 18 single crochets, 19, 20 single crochets, 21, 22 an increase, 23 and 24 single crochets, 25, 26 single crochets, 27, 28 an increase, 29 and 30 single crochets. Now the last two, six stitches, that means two single crochets, an increase, and another two single crochets. And now I have 36 stitches all around. Now I'm gonna do one more row to go up to 42. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna do an increase and then five single crochets. So one, two is an increase, three, four, five, six, seven, single crochets, 8, 9 is an increase, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 single crochets, 15, 16 an increase, now up to 21, it's gonna be 
single crochets Uh, 22, 23 on increase and up to 28 single crochets Twenty nine, thirty, 30 an increase 31, 32, 33, 34 and 35 single crochets 36 and 37 an increase and now last five single crochet stitches so that's one two three four and five now I have 42 stitches all around and I'm uh, happy with the size now if you want bigger larger um, ladybug you can just do more increases of six but I'm gonna stop here so from now on I'm gonna do two three rows of just single crochet stitches all the way around what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark this stitch because I'm not gonna be counting 42 all the way around I'm just gonna know that this is my first stitch and now I have to do three rows up okay so three rows of single crochet stitches Now that's one row done. I'm gonna just put another marker in. So that means the beginning of the second row. Again, for me, it's 40, 42 stitches all the way around.
and this is the last stitch. I'm gonna now remove the first marker and the second marker and I'm gonna mark this my last stitch now here. So this is now gonna be row number three of 42 stitches without any increases. Now the last row of 42 stitches. And the last stitch, so I'm gonna get rid of my stitch marker, that's stitch number 42. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm first gonna do one row with the black color. I'm gonna show you how because I'm gonna be using only the back loops because I want this nice red edge to be shown. So I'm gonna now switch the colors and I'm gonna do one row of 42 stitches only through the back loops. So I'm going in still and now I'm grabbing the black yarn and going through. Now that's one, I need 42, two, three, you can see the edge kind of building up. Thank you. 
Now that's 39, 40, 41, and the last one is 42. Now the time is to sew on the black dots. So I'm gonna set this all aside. I'm gonna make a bit larger just so it doesn't move away I can cut the red yarn and I can secure the start and the end of this rose so I'm just making a knot Uh, don't worry about the color change where you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna be putting the head here so it you won't see where the color is changed. Now let's attach the dots. I'm just gonna First, what you have to do is take a look what is your right and what is your wrong side. So this is my bottom, this is my top. Now the first dot I want in the middle and then I want two on the side. So I'm gonna go first in, take just a little bit smaller hook and pull the starting tail in. And now I'm gonna sew the the dot to the top part of the ladybug. So I'm just going in and out, normal stitches, nothing fancy. That is why I said you can leave a bit of a tail. Now, if you didn't leave any tail for it, you can just grab a spare part and sew it on like that. And the first dot is almost secured. I'm just gonna, you know, if you see it uh, not secured enough, you just go one more row around. And that's it. Now, because I have the starting tail and the end tail both in the, in, uh, the, on the inner side of the ladybug, I can just make a knot. And that's it. Now I want two more on the sides. This is the wrong side. I'm grabbing the starting tail again and pulling it on the back side and now I have to secure the dot so I'm just gonna be sewing 
up and down and hopefully it won't move and hopefully I won't poke myself with my with a needle in my finger. one more here stitch and this is secured enough so I know it's a bit of a mess in the back but this is gonna be hidden inside anyway Now again, you can use the um, black buttons to do this, but I'm going to be using the dots. Now the next one, I want it here. Just checking what my front and what my back side is. And this is why you usually charge more if you work with black yarn. Pulling the starting tail to the back side. And now I have to secure. The dot. I know this is supposed to be a crochet tutorial and unfortunately when you are doing amigurumi sometimes you have to sew on all the little bits and pieces. So this is the next dot done. I'm gonna just secure it so I'm gonna make a knot here on the back side. Now yeah, it would be much easier if you would be using buttons, but it's crocheted, so it takes a bit of time. Now 
double checking what's the front and what's the back side. grabbing the starting tail and pulling it into the work so I can make a knot then at the end. Just more two more stitches and this one will be secured. Perfect. So all I have to do now is make a knot. So that's five dots done. I'm gonna put another one here. And then all I have to do is just a black line across. Again, I have to position it, so it's going to be here. Of course, you can position it with pins and uh, secure it, but I think this works as well as long as you hold it in place while you sew it on. Just grabbing the starting tail. Still need to secure the dot more. Now if you want, as I said, you could have used buttons to do this or you could have used um, some felt, you know, to make nice round circles and you can just glue them on, but uh, I want this to be completely crocheted, so I have to go through a bit of a mess. Okay, the starting tail and that's it. What I'm gonna now do is hopefully I'm gonna find the end of the yarn because I need just a little bit of black. I'm 
because I'm gonna embroider that goes back into the middle because I want to have you know a black line going across so that's why I have now some black yarn in my needle I'm gonna make a knot and as I said this is gonna be the front I'm gonna start in the back and go all the way across try not to split yarn just like I did and I'm gonna be using for each row I'm gonna be using a stitch As I said, it has to go all the way across to the other side. On the other side as well now I know I could have uh, first done this line but mm, let's say I got a bit confused one more stitch now I'm gonna leave this line here because at the end if when I'm gonna be uh, putting the head on I can still use this one okay so I think the base is almost done all I have to do now is close up the bottom so how am I gonna do that is I'm just gonna be doing the reduces I'm going to do I'm going to go from 42 I'm going to go down to 36 and then I'm going to be reducing them by 5. I'm going to explain why because I want a more flatter uh, a quicker reduce. Okay, so this is my stitch and hopefully yeah my working yarn is still here so I have to go from 42 to 36 I'm gonna do two single crochets a decrease and another two single crochets no I'm gonna do da, 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 da. I'm gonna do five 
single crochets and a decrease. And I got the wrong crochet hook. So it's gonna be five single crochets and a decrease. One, two, three, four, five. And a decrease, a decrease is joining two single crochets together. And ouch, how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna grab the back loops of the two stitches and then make a single crochet. So two loops on my crochet hook, yarn through both of them. Okay, again, back loop, back loop, yarn through both of them and a single crochet. So that's six now. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Single crochets. Twelve is a decrease. Back loop. Back loop. So I have two loops of the back sides pulling through both of them and pulling through both of them. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 18. I think I missed out, so yeah. The 18th one is a decrease. Nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, and twenty three single crochets. 24 is a decrease, so back loop, back loop, I know black yarn, I should have thought of this before, but I want a proper ladybug. Okay, so that's 24, uh, now up to 29 is single crochets, so that's 25, 26, 27, 28 and 29. 30 is again gonna be a decrease. Thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, and thirty five single crochets. And 36 is a decrease again. That means going through back loops only and making a single crochet. So ladybug in the making. Um, I'm gonna do another row of decreases of five of six because I want to go from 36 to 30 and then it's gonna be the decreases of five. So to go from 36 to 30 to 30, I need to do two single crochets, a decrease and six and two single crochets, and I need to repeat that six times. So that's two single crochets, a decrease, and another two single crochets. Two single crochets. Seven is a decrease. Eight, nine single crochets. Ten, eleven single crochets. 
12. That's 15, 16, 17 single crochets. 18 is a decrease. Again, with the decreases, I'm only grabbing the back loops. Now 20, 19 and 20 single crochets. Twenty one, twenty two single crochets, twenty three is a decrease, twenty four, twenty five single crochets, twenty seven, twenty eight single crochets. 28 is a decrease, 29, 30 single crochets. You know what? I'm just gonna be doing the decreases of six all the way along. So going from 30 To 24 I need to do three single crochets and a decrease six times of course so four is a decrease five six seven single crochets 8 is a decrease, 9, 10, 11 single crochets, 12 is a decrease, 13, 14, 15 single crochets, 16, 17 is a decrease. As you can see, I am uh, pulling the yarn because I want nice firm stitches. 17, 18, 19 single crochets. 20 is a decrease. 21, 22, 23 single crochets, 24 is a decrease. Now you can fill your your ladybug with fiber fill but I'm actually thinking of putting some rice and lavender in as well so what I'm gonna do is give me a second I'm gonna skip the rice I'm just gonna put some lavender in so here's my fiber fill and I'm gonna take a little bit and then I'm gonna hide the lavender in.
Now this lavender is something I picked on my own, so that's why it's still uh, on these little twigs. I think I have enough here. So I'm making some space in the middle of the filling and then I'm gonna hide it in. So it is hidden inside. Now all I have to do is stuck, st stick it into the ladybug. <clears throat> okay, and now I have to close it up more. All the way to the top. So I am stuck on 24 here, so to go from 24 to 18, I have to do two single crochets and a decrease. Okay, so let's do two single crochets and a decrease. So now three is a decrease. Okay, there's just a little bit too much filling inside, so I'm gonna put some out. Okay, that's gonna be much, 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 much better. So I've made three stitches, four, five is a single crochet. Six is a decrease. Seven, eight. Single crochet, nine is a decrease. Ten, eleven single crochets. Twelve is a decrease. Uh, you can see how I'm always pushing the filling in. Now I have to do two single crochets. and a decrease. And 16, 17 single crochets and 18 is a decrease. Going through back loops only And a note to myself, next time when I'm gonna be doing some video tutorials, never use black. Okay, so we have it on 18. Now I have to go from 18 down to 12. I'm gonna do a single crochet and a decrease. So a single crochet and a decrease. A decrease is done through the back loops only. Three, 
three is a single crochet, four is a decrease. Five is a single crochet. Six is a decrease. Seven single crochet, eight is a decrease. Nine is a single crochet, ten is a decrease. I need to go through the back loop only and that was not a single crochet that was a slip stitch so one loop back now this one is 11 and the last one is 12 again a decrease through the back loops only. I have to do it like that because I hate black. Okay, back loops and pulling it through and pulling it through. Now I have 12 stitches left. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do another stitch. This one's going to be a slip stitch. And I'm going to leave a bit of a tail and cut the yarn. Pulling the yarn through. Now what, what you have to do, what I have to do is, I'm going to go grabbing only the front loops of the stitches. So I know you cannot see it properly, but I'm grabbing just the front loops of all the 12 stitches. Because I'm going to be then pulling this tight together and closing the gap. And that's it. As you can see, there are no holes. Um, I will have to get rid of the the, the filling, but yeah the loop is closed what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna go up to the top and just kind of pull it a bit tighter because i want the bottom to be nice and flat and that's it uh, i have to hide away the end tail because there's so much fiber fill inside I just can go zigzag left and right and it's gonna be secured inside
Okay, so the base of the ladybug is done. What I have to do now is just a small half of a sphere with the base of 6. Uh, I'm gonna go up to 12 and then just apply it in the front. Of course I'm gonna be using the black one. I'm gonna start with a magic ring, so yarn twice around my thumb. Going in, grabbing the yarn. Now I have to do six single crochets, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Did I say 12? I meant 18. I'm gonna go up to 18 to make the face part of the ladybug. So that's six. Now I'm gonna do increases of six. In each stitch I'm gonna do an increase and after the end of this row I'm gonna have 12 stitches. So that means one, two is an increase. 3, 4 is an increase, 5, 6 is an increase, 7, 8 is an increase, 9, 10 is an increase, 11, 12 is an increase. Now I have to do just one more row of increases, I'm gonna go from 12 to 18 so that means a single crochet actually two single crochets and an increase so one <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, from 12 to 6 to 18 a single crochet and an increase uh, and I have everything written right here so that's three, four is a single crochet, five, six is an increase, seven is a single crochet, eight, nine is an increase, ten single crochet, eleven, twelve is an increase, thirteen a single crochet, fourteen, fifteen an increase. 16 is a single crochet, 17, 18 is an increase. Now this is the base of the head. Now I just need to do two more rows of 18 stitches. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and just one more row of eighteen stitches, eighteen single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So this is gonna come in the front. I'm gonna leave, um, actually I don't need a tail because I still have the tail from the top. So I'm gonna just cut it short, pull the yarn through, and now 
grabbing the needle, making an invisible join, the join that even you won't be able to see how to do, because I have the color of black and it's not visible good enough. So I'm gonna skip the first stitch, I'm gonna go into the second stitch and then I'm gonna come back to the stitch where I started, pulling it tight and now I'm gonna go more into the back side of the head and make a knot. Now this knot will be hidden inside anyways. Okay, so that's it. All I have to do now is secure the head of the ladybug on top of the body. So I already have this tail from the, oh, the black where the wings are separated. And now I have to position it nicely and symmetrically. So I am gonna go up. Again, you can position this with some pins but I'm just gonna go in and out and hopefully it should be you know equally done on the both sides So yeah, never work with black yarn, as you can see, I have a lot of problem with it. And perhaps even you can have it because you cannot see properly what I'm doing. Now that I've closed up a bit, I'm gonna, of course, stuff the head as well. much okay and this will be enough so all I have to do is I'm gonna be using some pins So yeah, I'm securing the head to the body. pulling all the filling, the fiber fill inside. Now the head is positioned, I'm just gonna re -go do 
one more row just to go a bit more uh, around and secure it more in place. If you're wondering why you cannot see anything, well, I cannot see anything as well, what I'm doing there. But yeah, uh, just securing the last stitches. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a knot here. Yes, it's on the outside, but you're going to see why. And I'm going to make a knot about a centimeter away from the head. Now I have to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go in between the two stitches. Then I'm gonna go out on top through the stitch so that knot will actually be hidden inside. Again I'm gonna make a small knot on top here so just once around. And now I have to make a knot about a centimeter away from the head. Try making them equally. Okay. And that's it. I am done. So ladybug i hope you enjoyed the video i know it was a bit hard to see what i was doing with the black yarn but yeah a ladybug is a red with some black dots on top um this is a really cute small amigurumi i hope you enjoyed the video i think i will be making another video just to show you how to make it perhaps a bit smaller and yeah until the next time i'm gonna say Happy crafting!